everyone. Thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And this is a big old haul that I have. It's all drugstore, plus I have some stuff from Sephora, Tarte, Amazon, AliExpress. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in, starting off with what I picked up at CVS. I picked up some things from Wet n Wild. The first thing is this uh, Photo Focus setting spray. I don't know what the difference is with this photo focus. Hopefully it maybe looks like you have a beautiful filter on your face when you spray it on, but I haven't tried it yet. And uh, it comes in a tiny little, I don't know, it's like a tiny little bottle. It's like 1.52 ounces. So hopefully I won't get through this too fast. Maybe it'll give a nice blur to my skin, but we'll see. The next thing from Wet n Wild is this mascara. It is a Fanatic Cat Eye mascara and it is in the color black cat the brush is pretty interesting it's a fan brush that it says it provides an instant cat eye eight times the volume eight times the curl and 35 percent longer lashes so check out this brush it's pretty crazy it has uh kind of like a comb on one end and then it has like these super short bristles on the other We'll see how it works out. I'm a little scared of the wand. And then the third thing I got from Wet n Wild is this graphic marker eyeliner. And it has like a really sharp edge. So you can do a really thick line or a thin line. And it's supposed to be uh, waterproof. It doesn't smudge and it's long wearing and it dries quickly. So let's go ahead and check out uh, what it does here. That's a uh, pretty dark. And there's the other side. That's pretty cool. I need some help with my eyeliner game. It's not that strong. Um, I like that it's kind of like a marker, so hopefully it'll be easier to work with. I picked up some things from, oh, I have another thing from here from Wet n Wild. This is a Mega Slicks Balm Stain, and this is in the shade Nudist Colony. What a cute, cute name for a lip product. So it's just a twist up here, and I love me some nudes. And there's the color. They are very, very nude color on my skin tone. I picked up some items from Milani. So I wanted to try out this one here. This is the Milani Length uh, in Seconds Lash Extension Fibers. This is something that you would use with your favorite mascara. And I, th if I, I opened it already. It's these white fibers, hair-like fibers on the end. And so you're supposed to use this just on the ends of your lashes um, after you applied your mascara and then put another coat of mascara on top of that to set it. Uh, I really, really hope this works. I've been trying to not wear um, my eyelash extensions that I used to do a lot of and just giving my eyelashes a rest and having them grow a little bit longer. So I really hope that these give more length to my lashes. So, you know, you don't have to wear um, eyelashes all the time and you can just rock your natural lashes with mascara. Then I picked up this brow tint pen by Milani. I don't have a product like this yet. I have tons of different eyebrow products, but not a pen. I like the way that I've seen people do this, use this product on um, YouTube and draw really thin hair-like lines on their skin in their eyebrows. So I am gonna try that out. Hopefully it's not gonna be a huge disaster. And I got the shade Dark Brown. Let me show it to you here. It's just like a uh, felt tip eyeliner that you would use for your eyes, but this is brown for your eyebrows here show you okay and then I got four lip products um, I have my kids in the background so you hear them playing but I bought four different lip products from Milani two lip liners and two lipsticks the lip liners here are nude and natural super similar but you know you can't have too many <laughs> so here are the two shades so super similar but I love them both and then there are the swatches I feel like one of them just broke, yeah. And then I got two lipsticks that are also in that nude category. One is Bahama Beige, and then the other one is Naked Matte. Such beautiful colors here. I love them both. And one is sort of brown, more brown than the other. 
Then I picked up one brush from e.l.f. It's an angled eyeliner brush. It's a very, very thin brush. I have, oh, I don't know, like four or five eyeliner brushes. I'm still trying to work on my winged liner, but I really wanted a super thin brush like this one. I have one that's similar, but over time it starts to get a little bushy. <laughs> I don't know why. But I am excited about this one. Hopefully it will help me with my eyeliner. Okay, and then I picked up this Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment with salicylic acid. Now, I don't normally have breakouts. I mean, throughout my pregnancy, I kind of had a couple of breakouts, hormonal ones, but uh, other than that, I don't usually have breakouts, but lately I've been getting a couple of breakouts on my forehead, and I think it's because of this product here, which I'll show you in a second that I got from Sephora. It's not that it's a bad product, but I think I was misusing it because I read the directions wrong. So I bought this to help me with my blemishes and just spot treat them and help me not have so many breakouts. So moving on to Amazon, I picked up this primer from Amazon. It's called Blur Pang, and it's a Korean brand product, and it's the Banana Milk Blur. Yeah, interesting name, <laughs> and it's cute packaging. They have more than this yellow shade. They have like a green shade, and I think they might have an orange shade, but I wanted to get yellow or banana because I have yellow undertones, and so I wasn't sure how it was gonna work for me. I was not happy the first time I used it because it made my skin look really white and then when I wore it with foundation it made my skin look ashy which no one wants to look ashy on their face so what I found is that you need to only use a little bit and honestly like a tiny little drop like I just showed you here a tiny little drop is all you need for your entire face to get that kind of blurred effect and you know fill in your pores etc so I'm going to continue using this and I think over time when I just realize that only a little bit goes a long way I'll end up loving this product but right now it's like eh, I don't know I got a few things from AliExpress and if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's a website where it's all China based products so everything that you order from there is going to be shipped over from China. I love buying eyelashes from there and I just picked up these just two small items here. This is a Maxi Black Ultimate Maximum Black Eyeliner. It's a felt tip eyeliner and uh, it's really waterproof and as you can see here super black and this stuff does does not budge which is really great for me because I don't know what it is but my eyes just tend to get like watery or smudgy or whatever so annoying so then I also picked up another set of lashes they're so gorgeous super fluffy and wispy okay and then just randomly I picked up a pair or a set of uh, nail files from Bed Bath & Beyond you can never have too many nail files I don't think and then along the same category of nails, I also picked up this manicure set for my house because I just don't find the time to really go and get a manicure anymore. Once in a while, I'll get a pedicure, but as far as manicures, I just, I'd rather do something else with my time. So whenever my kids are down for bed and it's just, you know, downtime, mommy time, I like to do things like fix my nails and I wear them super natural so it's not like I'm getting you know different types of colors of nail polish or fake nails like I used to so I like to just do something like this at home and it has all these different tools it's not going to be like a salon grade machine but it really does help just to having all these different tools to help make my nails look nice okay so from Sephora.com, I picked up this product here, which is by Neogen. It's a bio peel and it smells like lemons. It's really nice. It's gauze peeling, which means on one side, one side of the pad, there's gauze and the other side is smooth. So you can use both sides to kind of like get into the skin and then smooth it out. Now, the problem with this is that I've used this and as you can see, the directions are on the back and you can hardly read them because the container is clear. So what I thought it was, I thought that it said to use this twice daily, so in the morning and then in the night, 
So I used it for four days straight and <laughs> I didn't realize it actually says use twice weekly, weekly. So I ended up thrashing the skin on my forehead with this stuff because I was scrubbing so hard. So then I ended up just making it super raw and now I had a couple breakouts, which is not fun. So since then I haven't even used this because I wanna give my skin a break, but I did like the way my skin looked after I used it a couple times, but not when I realized that I misread the directions. And then these are the Rainforest of the Sea concealer and foundation. In the concealer, I got the shade Medium. I absolutely love the packaging for this product. Here it is here, and the applicator is so cute. I absolutely love it. I feel like you can cover a lot of surface area on your face. And then for the foundation, I got the shade Medium Tan Sand. And here it is right here, such a beautiful bottle. And then this one is a um, dropper. I haven't even used this product yet. I was gonna wear it today because I just went to a baby shower, but I was afraid, well, maybe the shade's not right for me and I didn't have a chance to try it out, so decided to skip that. And then in the box, I also received this deep dive cleansing gel. If you haven't watched my other video on this palette, I picked up the Tarte Tardis Makeup Shayla Collaboration Contour Palette. I love this palette. Look at this case. It's so beautiful. And then you have all your beautiful shades right here. And honestly, you can just, you don't have to just use this on your face. You can create a really pretty eye makeup look too. So you can just take this on the go. Even if you're traveling, you have everything that you need in this kit. You can blush, uh, setting your under eyes, highlighting, contouring, and then even creating a really nice eye makeup look. Okay, so that is it. I know I spoke really fast, but I wanted to get through all of these products before my battery died and before my kids start causing a major ruckus. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will be using all these products. I um, might be doing some first impressions oh, and some reviews. But if you have any questions about any of these products, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.